Good afternoon, this is Dave with the Wednesday edition of the Daily Blooms, January 10th, 2018. In the greenhouse today, as we have uh, three or four that have decided to bloom out here. Uh, there's also one inside that's just opening, but we'll look at that one Saturday. Out here is a uh, one that I think is very beautiful. And this is one of my experimental, um, no media uh, experiments. As you can see, there's a pot, and inside the pot, just full of uh, new growth, new bud, new roots, and it produced this bloom, which I think is very pretty. Um, I took about I don't know, 15 or 20 of my uh, medium-sized catlias that needed to be repotted. And I, I got these uh, baskets that uh, John Benedict had talked about and uh, when I could get them in September. <clears throat> and repotted, like I said, 15 or 20. I don't know exactly how many. But uh, there's some more of them. Uh, so they, they've been growing uh, in here without any media since September and uh, I must say some of them are doing a lot better than others um, I guess it depends on the the orchid there's one there that it's got great roots on it way in the back no buds on it yet but I anticipate that may be coming um, I really like the idea of uh, no be no media and uh, it, it is so much easier to take care of them, I think. You don't have to worry about disturbing them and changing the media. So, uh, I hope to get more of these baskets and uh, continue. Uh, here we see some of my uh, sphagma petalums that are really, they're growing nice. Um, no buds at the moment, but uh, they're, they look healthy. Down here in my paths, they aren't anything to brag about, <coughs> but uh, at least they're still alive. And maybe as it warms up, they'll get better. Uh, also out here, there we have a, another vanda that's uh, getting ready to open. You can just see it, really can't make out. It's going to be a light white color with a purple center, it looks like. Uh, the uh, this beautiful catlia uh, is doing nice. You can see it uh, is very beautiful. It has what, five buds on it. Still have two to open. Uh, so that that one's very nicely growing. Uh, let's see some of the other ones. This is that Oncidium up there that's still opening. Uh, this is that beautiful Vanda that I showed you. Uh, then up in the cooler part of the greenhouse are some uh, more Cattleyas that have slowly started to open. Uh, here's going to be a beautiful one up here that has, looks like, four buds. Two spikes. Uh, the opening here. I don't know. Probably in the next, probably a couple of weeks or so. Depends on the temperature in the greenhouse. What happens? That one I showed you. Here's a beauty that just opened, and I think this is beautiful. I love the uh, the red lip. The way the, the lip is on the red with the yellow in the very center of the lip. Um, I, I think that's a very pretty one. There's three, three uh, flowers on that. And uh, they're doing very nice. And there's at least one more. That's it. Crag is still going that I've showed you for how many months now has it been going? Still going. That one is on the way out, but it's still in bloom. 
this little red one up here is uh, just starting to open. And here's one over here that's going to be open probably Saturday. Um, so I'll be probably showing more. Those two there on the way out. Uh, the mini purple over there that I got from Marlowe Orchids, what, two years ago maybe now? Um, we've got a couple flower points on it, um, doing well on that mount. Uh, the Mastavalias are blooming in places. Uh, still don't get my Mastavalias to bloom real well for me. There we have a nice spike up there going to be, uh, this is a plant down here, as you can see it, right there the spike goes up from the, uh, oh it's got to be what, three feet now? Looks like it's going to have a lot of buds, so that'll be pretty to see open. So, we have some warmer days now after the cold spell. And that's probably going to do it for the greenhouse today. Uh, take one more look at this beautiful catlia that is open. And uh, until Saturday, that'll probably do it. And thanks for taking the time to watch. And uh, please subscribe and comment. Um, until Saturday. So long.